Welcome guys, so welcome to my channel. So in this video, we will prove a simple theory in a group theory. So basically, if H is a subgroup of G, which the index is 2, means that uh, the H, the number of the sub, uh, number of the group H will uh, just be the, the total uh, order of G divided by 2, then H is normal. Okay, and uh, before I start, uh, you uh, you can go to check out my uh, you can go to check out my group theory videos, and uh, also uh, check out my math geeks uh, videos. There are a lot of uh, math theory, and uh, uh, you guys can check it. Okay, so uh, let's go to a proof. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so the proof should be very simple, right? So in order to show H is normal, then what what we should do, right? Uh, all we should do is that uh, we need to prove that uh, for all g belongs to g, then we must have g h g inverse equals to h. Okay, so uh, but but so the important pro pro part is that h contains g divided by two. Okay, so let's case right. Let's this case uh, different cases. So the first case is that uh, if g belongs to h, then this is trivial, right? Because if g belongs to h, then g h will be h. Because H is a subgroup, right? So H G inverse also belongs H because uh, G inverse will be H. So definitely G H G inverse will be H. Okay, the case two. Okay, so case two is what G do not belongs to H. Okay, so then uh, what will be G H? Right, so G H as a set, right, will be G delete H, right? So basically G H will be every element of which is not in H, and uh, because H contains a half of the group G, right? So GH will be G divided by H, uh, sorry, G uh, delete H. And the reason is that, uh, uh, so I should prove, if I want to uh, say rigorously, I should say that uh, any element in GH will not be any element in H. So for example, uh, let's say if G alpha become beta, let's, and alpha beta belongs to H, right? Then it will imply that G, be, G belongs to H, right? Because G will be uh, beta alpha inverse. Okay, right? So that means any any element not in H, so uh, any element in H times G not in H should not be in H, right? So GH will be G delete G, the set of G delete H. And, the, and this is and the same reason is that uh, if G do not belong to H, then why is HG, right? HG is the, by the same argument, HG will be G delete, delete H, right? So they are, must be the two the same two sets, right? Must be the same because H contains a half, right? So the key point is that the uh, the key point is that the the order of A the order of the order of H is a half of the order G. So they must be so these two sets must be the same and these two sets must be the same, right? But these are the same, right? So it implies that G H equals H G, and G H G inverse is equals H. Okay, so this is a very uh, famous result that, or made, uh, the, like the easy result that uh, you guys should remember. Although usually we need to check uh, whether a group is normal, it's not so it's not so easy. But uh, if there is a special case that uh, H is a uh, index two subgroup of G, then H must be normal. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.